And we are live from Philadelphia, said to be a city of firsts. And the first time I saw a spinal cord wrapped around a goalpost was right here at Too Big to Fail Financial Stadium. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Carcass City Creeps take on the Philadelphia Eagles. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's a beautiful day for MFL football. At least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works at Deep Fry at the concessions. He said, how not know you, idiot, even if you got the answer right. First and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. Four. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. in the past, but I had the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. The Roy Rage dirty trick transforms a player into a red, and the defense was reading him like a book. Like it was written in Braille, Grim. His hands were all over the ball. Holy hell. Rick said something clever. Send a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. And it's first and ten. for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head, he'll be okay! And it's first and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. Down 
in. Well, good luck. At this point, with multiple interceptions, he can, oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe up. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. Third down and 10. Defense has enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. Third down and three. Excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And he runs out of gas and got tackled short of the goal line. Hell of a run, though. Uh, I'm not just having to have this whole lot of guys, man. Uh, at least that's what I hear. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. It's a brutal hit. <laughs> Second down and long. Revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad that cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got out the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, Right now, what day is it? When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the hit. They run it for a yard. Second down and nine. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's why he's here. And he's up. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? several occasions not surprising multiple times on each occasion not surprising and trust me that hit was worse and that pass is good for about five yards third down and eight Receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. Any field goals over 40 yards are difficult. He's going to really have to boom this one. It's good. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. 
The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. Oh, man, he really wants it. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. Second down and more than the QB would like. Pick up seven yards on that play. Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. First and ten. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. First and ten. Second down in a very lot. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know how to throw interceptions, but when I did, he just put that guy of his misery and says, who's next? And that is caught for a first down. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. for no gain. Second down and ten. Let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks and slide around on a shack carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel. He got blown across the room into the deer antlers. Eight. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nice. He's got the ball. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have the man at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> oh, and that's how you play defense. 
Ravens. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. And he runs it for four yards. Third down and six. If that hit didn't cripple him, it sent him. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. It's out of the fans. Sandwiches. I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, oh. ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And we're at the two-minute warning. And it's first and ten. see a lot of carnage today folks these teams have bad blood between them apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck raccoon rabies blood is my thought always a player's favorite and he takes a time out here they have two left i wonder if he has a plan well maybe he's just gonna take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And he's dancing like a zonked out jam band enthusiast. Well, that's how he spent his entire off season. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. From 
remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the court. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And it's first and ten. Football is a team sport, and that's why you should never think about mine unless it's that kind. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Swats the ball away. He can't. It looks like we've got a penalty here. <laughs> the quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. For the first down. And it's the quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. Surprise me, he made it look easy and he gets three points for it. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. It's a nice gain of about seven yards on that. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore win. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's Halftime Show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a return of the ball. Return of ball? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for it. You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. One in for the first down. And it's first and ten. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Wham!
The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and goal. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Final game stance are brought to you by the